two one and two teams go toe to toe on Sunday afternoon when the New England Patriots visit the San Francisco 49ers. We'll break it down for you with a money making opportunity on a player prop. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoyed this content, smash that like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel. Let us know in the comments section who do you got in week four in the NFL, whether it's a side, a total, a player prop, you name it. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So we cashed our last NFL video. We had Bo Nix uh, over on his passing yards against the Bucks. He got the job done for us there. We'll look to cash another one this week. We've got New England at San Francisco. Game kicks off at 4.05 p.m. Eastern from Levi's Stadium. Right now the Niners are minus uh, 10.5 point favorites. Got the total sitting at 40.5. Like we said, both teams are 1-2. and two. Both teams coming off two straight losses. Uh, 49ers coming off a 27-24 loss to the uh, Los Angeles Rams. And they're dealing with plenty of injuries. No excuses, though, because the Rams are obviously uh, pretty injury-riddled themselves. But obviously, uh, Christian McCaffrey remains out for San Francisco. Uh, Debo Samuel, still questionable. And now Kittle, uh, George Kittle, questionable as well. On the other side of things, we've got the Patriots, also 1-2, and two, also coming off two straight losses. We're a long way from that Cincinnati victory in Week 1. Unfortunately, they couldn't pull it out. In Week 2, they could be 2-1, and one, but they were embarrassed on Thursday Night Football last week against the New York Jets. Uh, the defense didn't play well. Aaron Rodgers had his way with them. Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson uh, both had plenty of work against the Patriots' defense, and uh, they couldn't do anything offensively. Jacoby Brissett was running for his life, uh, threw for under 100 passing yards, and he had uh, he was sacked five times as well. And uh, Brissett's going to be where we're looking for. He's going to be the focus, basically, of this video. We're going to be looking at his under 157.5 passing yards, sitting at minus 114 over at FanDuel. Now, he hasn't cleared this total yet this season. He's got a quarterback rating of 50.9. He's thrown for 98, 149, and 121 passing yards. He hasn't eclipsed 400 yards of passing in three games. And we've got to keep in mind that 149, that's the only, only week that he was even close to this total, and that was an overtime game against Seattle where he actually was able to uh, connect on his deepest pass of the season. He has a lack of weapons, obviously a poor offensive line, obviously. The Niners have, a, have done a decent job of limiting opposing quarterbacks' passing yards. They did hold uh, Stafford to 221. Darnold did throw pretty well against him for 268. But in week one, they held Rodgers to only 167. The Patriots have had 11 days to prepare for this game. They know their best chance to win is controlling the clock with the running game and relying on their defense against what they would hope to be. Um, obviously, no one hopes for injuries, but a banged up 49ers offense. So they're going to look to control the clock here. And I don't think they're going to have very much success passing. I also think there's a very solid chance here that we see Drake May again. We saw him on Thursday Night Football late against the Jets. And I, I, there's rumbles around my area of that Drake May. If Brissett struggles again, it's going to be Drake May coming in late in this game. So that could also help our cause to cash this under 157.5 passing yards. On Jaco uh, Jacoby Brissett, that will be our official play for this video. I do have a 5% NFL max bet locked and loaded for week four on Sunday afternoon. We are number one for NFL props in 2024. And if you use the code NFL50, it'll get you $50 off an NFL season pass. That's NFL50. And right now over at Sports Memo, uh, you can get 10 days of all-access action for the price of 7 Get three days free, and it breaks down to less than $8 per day. 
There's always a link to my action over at Sports Memo in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted on sportsmemo.com as well as at X at Steve's Book 22. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button on the way out, and I'll see you next week. Good luck in week four.